Hey guys, we are hanging out on Saturday night. Here's Moo. He just got a baby's bath at Petco. It looks so handsome. And uh, today we're going to be talking about golden retrievers, grooming, and um, all kinds of fun stuff. Max wants to make his YouTube outside while we play. So go ahead and open the back door hang on max and he will wait here this entire time while i go get my iced coffee out of the fridge because that's just how adorable he is all right max where are you baby oh where'd he go i actually decided to get a uh, sparkling ice instead of what I was going to get, but, um, oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. You see him? Where are you, Max? Max, where are you? Where's Max? Where'd he go? Where are you, Max? Where are you? Where's Max? Hey, have you seen Max? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Max? Watch this. Hey, have you seen Max? Where's Max? Oh, there you are! Hey, Peanut! Hey, Peanut! Oh, there's Max. There you are! I see you, baby! Okay, I'm gonna get you some shoes on. I'll be right there. All right, I'm gonna pause you just a second so I can get the shoes on. All right, so zoom back out. So this is our, uh, basically our max station in the house. So we have all of his gear mostly here. Some of it's up front because of um, where we need to have leashes and stuff like in here. Is, these are baby wipes. You would be surprised how often these come in handy with a kid and a dog and stuff like that. Um, flashlights, these are all flashlights. So these will take on us, will take, will take for walks. When we go walking in the um, summer, we don't need them, but in the wintertime, when it's dark out, you really need one of these. So we'll take this on a walk or we'll go set it out in the backyard. This one's not real bright, um, but I really like this one. This actually, funny enough, is an eBay special. I got it for like a dollar. Um, I actually think it came with some other toy I ordered. And I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. And I didn't really look at it. But this thing is awesome. I mean, that it is super bright. So... Uh, so flashlights, um, these, oh, those are for our cats. I don't know why they're in there. Oh, they were a Christmas present. This is a map from my dad. I don't know why that's in there. Uh, oh, this is an empty treat bag. This, okay, this used to have stinky treats in it. Um, that's what I call the smelly ones because they smell really bad. Um, but I don't have them in there anymore because they dry out. This is not any type of insulated bag. It's just a, like a, see, it's got a, sh a big old hole in there and it's canvas. So anything you put in here is gonna dry out. Um, and the fun part about stinky trays is when they're dry, they don't smell like anything, but that also means that your dog doesn't want them. So good to know there. Uh, what else is in here? So we've got um, one of his collars here. One thing about golden retrievers you're going to want to know is that you need to have multiple of everything. I'm talking everything. Multiple bowls, collars. This is a kitty bowl that, and if you have other pets, you'll appreciate this. Um, little boy. Oh, who's waiting for us? <laughs> We're coming, Peanut. Um, Golden Retrievers love to retrieve things, and a lot of the time they'll retrieve things that do not belong to them, including this. This is um, Sammy Cello's bowl. I don't know where I got it. Probably real cheap on a clearance or aisle. Um, but he brought it into the kitchen, so I washed it and 
put it away over here because it was the, the nearest pet receptacle. Um, walk bags, we've got several of those, which are full of bags. Keep these everywhere. You never know when you're gonna need to clean up poop, especially if you travel with your dog a lot. A lid for a cookie jar that I have been looking for because I wanna wash it, because I just washed the cookie jar. This is for dog cookies, not people cookies. Yeah, I'm wearing my shoes in the house, but it's summertime, so whatever. Um, oh, more baby wipes from a promotion that they did at an animal shelter I was volunteering at. Um, this is a calming collar. I tried putting this on one of our cats before he came into contact with Max because I thought that it would help him calm down around Max because he's afraid of him and he likes to fight with him. Um... It did not work, to say the least. At its best, it was annoying for Sammy to wear. Uh, these are, f oh, this is a toy from my sister for Christmas that I still have to give to my key tat. He can't be trusted alone, so I don't give him things like that unless I'm supervising him, which I don't have a lot, a lot of time to do because Max is a little boy. Um, I got a lot of cat stuff over here. I should probably start like another receptacle for cat stuff. Um, tennis ball stuff, oh, can't see that. Um, tennis ball canisters are awesome for keeping leashes and collars in. I'll show you what I do. So this is a clean canister. It literally had tennis balls in it until I bought them and I took them out and Max always like tears into them right away. So all I do is wash the leash and the collar set. I keep the set together in here and when the lid goes on, that means that it's a clean set and it's ready to use because here's why they're in this canister. Um, oh shit, it's not in here. Okay, Max has a backpack. Oh, there it is, I'll show you. I'm the one that wears the backpack, so I chose the color. So this is his backpack. And in here, I usually do like treats and stuff in the front, like poop bags, stuff you need to access quickly. Um, he's got like allergy stuff and uh, medication and stuff like that in there. Um, in the back, I'll put one of these so we have an extra leash and an extra collar just in case. Trust me, you never know. I'll, I have stories about that. I'll tell you later. Um, and then we keep some water and some toys and uh, raw hides and um, an extra bag of food and all kinds of other stuff in there for him. And a towel. Bring a freaking towel if you have a golden. Just do it and baby wipes. Bring baby wipes. Um, it wouldn't ha hurt to have like a really small travel bottle of like Dawn soap either. Um, this is hotspot spray. So Max has seasonal allergies, which is so cute for a dog. We didn't know that he had seasonal allergies until he turned one um, or around that time. Um, what happened was he started chewing at his feet, front and back feet. And we were like, what is he doing? And I thought, oh, it's just, they're itching him. But the reason they were itching him to the point where he would like literally rip all the hair out. He had red, they were like red and raw. Um, and I couldn't get him to stop. So I bought this as a stopgap after I saw the vet because um, the vet, told me we took him in of course after a little while because it was like he's not stopping and they're getting worse he's gonna start bleeding soon etc um hey baby I see you we're coming so what the vet told us was that that's allergies um we have him on cytopoint and that has worked incredibly well um he was on another one before that uh, I might even still have some of it in here. This is his medication drawer, medicine slash health slash like flea and ticks type, type stuff. And it's overflow for the grooming drawer. This might be one of them, actually. I don't know what it is anymore because it's not labeled, so I'll throw it away. I won't use it because I don't want to take the take a chance of giving him something I don't mean to. But. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have it, so I don't remember what the name was, but 
um, before he started on that, he was having such a hard time not chewing on them that I just bought this just to spray on them temporarily. What I would do though is definitely bring this along um, in just a small like travel size spray bottle uh, because this, if he gets into anything that irritates him, or irritates his paws or irritates him, like poison ivy type stuff, you could spray this on it. Um, hot spots just get worse before they get better too so anything you can do to keep your dog's attention off them is fantastic and um, golden retrievers are prone to getting hot spots i found out from our vet actually that can happen because of um, hi baby being wet and not getting dried after a bath or swimming so if your golden takes a bath or goes swimming definitely dry them as much as you can that's why I say bring a towel. Yes! We've got to bring a towel for the babies. Um, this one has bandanas because he get, a lot of the time when he gets groomed, he gets a bandana. So. And then, oh, oh my god, an incomplete set. That happens sometimes. Um, this is another, another leash from the Subaru promotion. It's pretty weak, so I don't use it with Max. Um, Goldens can pull really, really hard, and when they're little, uh, they do pull really, really hard, so. So this baby wears a harness and a very strong leash on it and a very strong collar. Um, the one he's got on, Max! Can, see, can I see you? Come on! Max, come here! Good boy! The collar he's got on right now, let me show you is like pretty much like Kevlar, basically. He can't chew it off and won't chew it off, but he might wear it out. Um, he's a big dog, he's 90 pounds right now. We're trying to get him down to like, the vet wants him at 75. I personally don't think that he's built for 75 pounds. I think he's more like an 80 pounder, but that still means he's 10 pounds overweight. So we're doing what we can to keep his weight down. Um, We'll talk about that later, but um, that means that they have a lot of muscle. They have a lot of muscle, especially in their chest um, and in their legs. Hi, buddy. I see you, honey. You're such a good dog. Um, very awesome sense of hearing, too. I mean, they're fantastic at hearing. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, sorry trying to get the camera where you can see me. Um, so the, the Goldens have a really, really strong pull. They will pull you down. Definitely will pull you down if you're not prepared for it. Um, so you, you, if you have a young Golden, I'm talking like under five years old, maybe under six years old, you need to be prepared for them to pull and pull hard. Um, this is not a dog for an old person to walk or somebody that's not really strong on their feet um, not a, not a, um, a friendly type of walking dog for somebody that just wants to like stroll around and, like not pay attention it's like a full body workout to walk this dog so that's why we have our leashes and stuff um, really really strong and that's why I don't use that little one I'm gonna donate that actually to somebody that has like a tiny dog. Like I used to have a tiny dog, like a two and a half pound dog. Um, that's the kind of dog that you can use that with. So let's go back to Max cause he's getting super impatient. Real quick, I'll just show you what's in the other drawers. So we talked about um, health stuff, flea and tick, heartworm. Um, these are probiotics. He has had Giardia multiple times because he likes to put things in his mouth. Everything goes in his mouth, um, including like sticks he finds in the backyard that might have like poop on them. So we do our best to keep that clean um, and clean up after all his poops. But um, more importantly, we try to keep him from putting stuff in his mouth that's not toys. So that helps a lot. Um, toothbrushes. Um, with the toothbrushing, this is the thing that's been the absolute hardest to get him to do. He doesn't want to brush his teeth. Hates having stuff in his mouth like when he doesn't put it there. 
Unless you're playing with a ball with him and he wants you to squeak the ball while it's in his mouth. Um, this one has been probably the easiest to use. This is a little rubber um, cover that goes on your finger and this is just brushes here. So you just wet it and then put the toothpaste on, like a, a pea sized amount, like same as for humans. Um, and then you just brush them like that. And I actually got a ton of toothpaste from um, the animal shelter I was working at. They had a ton of it, they couldn't sell it fast enough, so they just started practically giving it away because they wanted it to get used by the by the use by date. Oh my god, I do have like a ton of his allergy stuff left. Wow. Yeah, I had a pill splitter for him, had all kinds of stuff we tried before the site of point. Thank god that's over. That was like a pill every single day. Um, which resulted in him getting really addicted to peanut butter, which resulted in him getting overweight, and um, I'm still trying to obviously help him lose weight. Uh, God, more cat stuff. We have cat stuff everywhere. Even though, like, they have their own room and everything. <laughs> um, his first rabies tag. We've got, like, all of his baby stuff in this drawer also. See, so, like, all that stuff. That's the kitty's, kitty's comb too, but, um, yeah, just put some of this stuff back where it was so that Max doesn't decide it's a great idea to grab it and run with it. He actually picked this up the other day off the table and thought, hey, this is an awesome toy. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, just destroy that. So, keep that in there. Um, this one, you can mostly see what's in here. Um... Backyard cleanup stuff, hats because winter time. We do go out with him in the winter time, all the time, every day. He needs so much exercise that we end up going outside with him every single day, no matter what. Doesn't matter what the weather is, doesn't matter how tired you are, you have to take them outside, they gotta go. I mean, they have to pee for one, and poop and stuff. Um, for two, they need exercise, and a golden will drive you absolutely insane out of your mind if you don't exercise them. Um, I would be happy to demonstrate that at some point, and I probably will YouTube it at some point. Um, oh. Okay, so this is a toy. We have this. He doesn't play with it, obviously, because it's broken, which he managed to rip the top of off of it. Um, you can see it's kind of like... If I can get it to focus, it's kind of rough on the top because he ripped the top off of it. But he won this in a beauty contest. <laughs> it was actually a Halloween contest. It was so cute because he won the contest for um, best pet costume from the pet store that we got him from, which is so cute. Um, and it was so adorable that he did. And it had only been like, I think this was last year that this happened, so... It had been a couple of years since we adopted him, but um, how cute is that, that he won that. Another thing that was really cute about this and why we picked it, because we could pick from all the toys in the store under like 25 bucks. Um, we picked this one because his dad, Jason, was really into this green water, um, green sparkling ice. And it was, well, actually the kiwi strawberry it's pink right now, but it used to be this almost the same shade of green. So we thought it would be so cute if the boys had matching bottles. And I actually have a picture of them together with this, but that's why we kept this, even though it's broken. So it just lives in there right now. Um, we also have this water sprayer for the backyard. This is his very first harness that he grew out of. He had this on, I think this lasted until he was like six or eight months old and then we switched them to a size large. But I kept um, the box from the large and I just put that one in it because I just wanna keep all his baby stuff. Um, yard cleanup stuff, extra water bottle. So remember how I said to have duplicates of everything? Um, this is an extra water bottle that goes on his kennel where he spends his daytime hours because he's too young to handle himself properly in the house when we're not home. And we know this because he doesn't handle himself properly in the house when we are home. Um, what else? Oh, bath stuff. Um, even though we take him to Petco to have like a full groom done, 
you always need to have pet shampoo and pet conditioner at your house because like I said before you never know um, and I have various stories about that already so I'm just gonna leave the, this here so you can like write down the brands if you want to I don't know if Target still sells this conditioner because it was clearanced out um, but it is really really good conditioner the Burt's Bees brand is fantastic we absolutely love it for him and it does such a great job not only getting the dirt out and things like that, but leaving his skin pretty soft and it doesn't itch him after. Like sometimes pet shampoos will just like make your dog itch and they get super uncomfortable, but this one seems to be super gentle um, and it really helps him when we have to bathe him at home. Um, it's really easy to rinse out and stuff too, so lather's nice and everything. So um, I really recommend that for long haired dogs. Um, even short-haired dogs. My friend's got a short-haired dog, and um, Hunter would probably even do well with that, too. So, um, And then, last thing on top we have here is the... I should have mentioned this before, because we use this the most. This is his kibble, or his crunchies, I call them. Um, his dry food. We feed him Wellness Ocean. And we have this in here because... When he was little, he didn't know how to go outside and go to the bathroom. So what we started doing was tossing a cookie out so he would chase it outside so that he would go to the bathroom outside. Um, but what we have not been able to break him of is the habit that he always wants somebody to throw a cookie for him when he goes outside now. And he's two. Um, I don't necessarily want to break that habit because it does guarantee that he will go run outside for the for this to go find it the bad part is just that he wants to have cookies too much and he gains weight that's really the only reason to not do it hi peanut mommy show him okay we're almost done you're a good boy so i've replaced the we used to keep little mini milk bones here which are like five calories a piece. This stuff is like way lower than that per piece. So we're gonna use his crunchy food for a while and see how he does on the weight with that. Um, this one, soccer ball, uh, I don't even know. We used to keep another pair of shoes there. This one, we keep yard shoes. It's just old shoes that you can wear in the grass and you don't care about getting dirty. That's what needs to go in here too because we need more than one pair back here. Um, this is balls. You wanna get pick your balls? Get your squeaky balls? It used to actually have treats in there, and then we started putting these balls in. We used to get him the bark boxes. I talked about that um, on my live uh, a few days ago. Um, and the bark boxes come with toys, which have this amazing squeaky ball in the middle of them, which Max absolutely loves. They are the only ball toy, aside from tennis balls, that Max has not tried to tear apart. And as soon as you take him out, he has not gotten tired of them. He has not wanted to play with any other ball except those if they're around. Occasionally, he'll put one down so that he can play with the tennis ball because those do a little bit better with throwing stuff. But he loves this, those balls. Um, this one is actually the Statue of Liberty ball. They still have it at Target because they sell some of their stuff at Target. Um, so you can tell, if you look at the one in the store versus this one, you can see what it looks like uh, once it's been used for a while. It's a vast world of difference, and he's ripped quite a bit off of here. This one's funny because normally he will completely rip off the entire outside because he's like, get rid of it, I just want the ball. This one, for some reason, though, he likes this outside on it. So. And he really likes the squeaks. See, he's listening. <laughs> And I will be throwing these for him in a minute. Um, I just wanted to show you how we organize our, our golden stuff. And he nicely brought this for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the drawer before it gets dragged all over the house. Um, 